Well, hello guys, and today I'm playing One Night at Flumpty's 2, so let's get on with it. Now, talking about One Night at Flumpty's 1 hardboiled mode, I will definitely try to complete that, but before I do that, I want to explore a little bit of One Night at Flumpty's 2. Okay, Flumpty's already there. This already seems so sick. We got a Freddy head up there. Oh, this is actually so cool. I remember years ago, I watched. I remember Corey Kenshin playing it on his YouTube channel, so now I'm finally playing it myself. So I remember there's like this owl guy, and then you can turn the lights off or something. That's mostly what I remember. But besides that, we're going to see that ourselves. Okay, yeah, this is the light. This is actually so cool. That's what I love about the Flumpty games. They're way different from like your average FNAF game. Well, of course, Flumpty 1 is more like FNAF 1, but then as soon as Flumpty 2 and 3, they're, they're different. They're not like your average FNAF game. That's what I like about them. And then about one night of Flumpty's 1, there's also like the clown, which can come through the middle. This is a great, this is an amazing thing they added. Now we are at one night of Flumpty's 2, so let's check this one out. Look at those eyes. Oh, laptop. So there's also like how much you could use it. Oh! <gasps> There he is! Flumpty. Okay, you just turn the lights off and then he goes away. So there's also a laptop battery, which is which is pretty annoying, but that's what makes the game challenging, I guess. That owl's eye is open, so I'm a little bit suspicious about that. You can see these vents, I'm pretty sure this is where the owl comes from. Oh, okay. Oh! Okay, it's already closed. It's already closed. Okay, I got lucky there. Flumpty, okay. Flumpty was like blocking him. But you can still see his head, but he was missing. That's why you didn't see his head. Okay. 12 a.m. Where the freak? I want something cool to happen. At the moment, I'm just like exploring. Oh, what? what is that? Oh, that's like the red thing from One Night of Flumpty's 1 that would just show up. It was really annoying, though. I almost died. I almost died. That was a close call. Okay. Pumpy, you can move out of the way now. Stop it. Get some help. Okay. I like the vent thing. We're going to keep that one open and we're going to keep our eye on the right one, I would say. Okay, yeah. Let's keep the camera on the right. And then let's keep checking the camera on there. So I want the left one closed, keep my camera on the right. Then I'll just close that one if he's there. Ooh. Flumpty. Okay, this is not that bad at the moment. There is this exposure bar. The exposure bar does not look like it's going down, so... I think the exposure will be a problem, because it doesn't go down. The owl is another big problem, because you have to keep, you know, checking on him. It doesn't jump you at any time of the night. Hmm, check. Incoming. Okay, he's still there. Then if we just play our strategy of keeping our, you know, character on the right. Just focus on the right. So left, the left door closed, right? The left vent closed. I keep my screen on the right so I can close the door in time. The right door, I mean the right vent, not the right door. As soon as I see the owl and just keep checking the camera. I think that should be a pretty good strategy. And also keeping my thing on the light, because the exposure meter just n does not not <gasps> You can go now. Oh, he has a walking animation? That's actually really cool. Okay. Okay, pretty chill night. I did not know he has a walking animation, that's actually so cool. Okay, incoming, take that out. Okay, pretty simple strategy. Keep ourselves on the right. Have the left vent closed. Keep checking the right vent. No! What the freak? That is... That is crazy. Game over easy. Yep, those are our eyes. Well, I'll see you guys later.